Minor commander, after what happened, he came out and said, let me tell you, people, we tried. And uh, yesterday, Jake put that uh, clip here. Minor commander said, we tried everything we could for Baba to win. And here's the question. Between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio, who had the ability to lead, he said it is us. But this guy, Ruto, is very smart. So he said, we, Ruto has not leaked. We have been defeated. We have to accept and support him. Yet he was one of the insiders who were working with Hu Kenyatta. Oh, when the commander you, said... You know, you know, <clears throat> yes. you know Mburu, the yes. story of Raila is so annoying. Uh, being somebody that comes from my community, it is so annoying that uh, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't take power, and uh, he had he had the best best <laughs> chance to to get power. You know, it you you can laugh about it, but it is so. <laughs> this this guy, I think, what happened is that they slept on the job. Mm -hmm. That is that is uh, the sad reality. He had all, he had the support. Don't say he didn't have the support. He had the support from each and every region. He only needed just to manage the election. So mm -hmm. where he failed is the management part of it. And I think uh, his people, the people who were surrounding him during that time of the elections are the ones who mismanaged Raila Odinga. Otherwise, if he had the team that uh, participated with him in 2007, Raila Odinga would have won the election as Mapema in uh, 2022. But this other team that uh, was around him in 2022, they didn't have a winning formula. They relied uh, very much on the deep set and, uh, and they concentrated on the root of the subject, not knowing that uh, in the process, they are really marketing uh, William Ruto. Uh, that is the, the same, same mistake is what they are doing right now. Uh, they are concentrating on Ruto, the, the person, and the Gashagwa. At the end of the day, they are paying very little attention uh, to the voting blocks and the need uh, of the voters. You know, sometimes elections need a lot of research. The, these political parties, they get a lot of money and uh, they need to invest on uh, uh, this organization that uh, do research to know the demographies that mm -hmm. uh, they need to tap into. If you don't uh, invest in data and on research and you, be, you have politicians who can only speak in uh, mother tongue, or you have got politicians who can only influence a part of the community and are not sellable in other communities. They depend solely on you to do the donkey work, then you have a problem. Uh, political parties like Azimio should invest on research. Uh, invest a lot on research, know what uh, the people in uh, in uh, these age groups want, the kind of leader that they want. If you don't meet in the criteria, then you look for a candidate that would be appealing to this uh, demography. Mm -hmm. uh, Mburu, in 2027 and 2032, the elections in Kenya will be, uh, will be decided by the youth, mm -hmm. largely. Mm -hmm. In the previous elections where we had Kina Kibaki, it was decided by the women. In uh, the consequent elections that we've been having, it is more of leaning towards what uh, the youths are saying. It is leaning towards the what the the 
graduates or the undergraduates and the expectations of a good government because they'll be out of college and they will need jobs. So they need a leader who has got a vision of the 21st century where we are moving. Uh, Mr. Rendo, just a question. Mm. How was the, the voting pattern in uh, 2022? In 2022, this is how our people voted. There are those who we call uh, party followers or party dyads, yeah? Mm -hmm. Who will not even know what the party stands for, but they will vote for the figure called Raila Odinga or William Ruto. Mm -hmm. So the people who are following uh, a UDA were following uh, a Ruto. In Central, Ruto was being voted for by, as a sympathy vote. Ruto got a sympathy vote. I would define it as a sympathy vote from the Central uh, Kenya people. They looked at him as somebody who has been betrayed by their own son. So they wanted to mm -hmm. uh, pay back for William Samoy Ruto. So he got the sympathy vote from uh, from Central Province. In uh, in Rift Valley, largely, he got both those who sympathize mm -hmm. with him and those who believe that he is one of our own. All right. Mm -hmm. So those, those are some of the votes that would have gone to Raila Amolo Dinga. Now, why Ruto uh, beat Raila on a demography that was, uh, was, was going to decide this vote is between the age of 18 and 35. These are the people who appear in uh, Churchill shows and things like that, comedies and all the youth generally. These are the group that uh, he managed to influence. Yeah, you could see that he's having meetings with actors, he's having meetings with uh, radio presenters, he's having with meetings with all these personalities uh, um, and, uh, and promising them some good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that is where uh, Ruto beat Raila. He managed to get the demography that uh, that that Raila didn't have, and then the the think tank in uh, Ruto's team looked for a slogan that resonates well with people who have been down the cadre. You know, people who have been uh, down here for a very very long time. You know, the poor in Kenya they have been waiting for an opportunity to grab anything from the rich. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> maskini unaona wamekuwa kingojea for a very, very long time to raid Kinyata's farm. That is something that they have been waiting for, that opportunity. Imekuja kidogo, but let me tell you what you see, what you saw are happening in Uru's farm in the next few years, if these issues of land is never addressed, it will be bigger than what you just saw happening in uh, <clears throat> in Oru's farm. So Ruto managed to get those mamambogas and uh, whatever it was, either he told them the truth or lied to them, 